Okay, we just got another package in the mail, and judging by the way this box feels, I don't think I'm going to be very impressed when I open it. Notice how loose everything is. Yeah, so let's open this and see how unimpressed I'm going to be. And look at this, just basically thrown in a box with some minute amounts of packing material haphazardly thrown in. So yeah, they'll be getting neutral feedback at best. Now what we have here is uh, what I believe to be one of the last Caliphone school record players before they went to the current model, which is basically a rebadged Crosley. Almost afraid to open it up here. Amazing, everything looks intact and the tone arm didn't come loose. I'm amazed. And you know what? Had I seen this phrase before I bid on this, I probably wouldn't have bid on it, because I was thinking these were made in the United States. Well, apparently this one's not. But anyway, this is a model 1010 AV, probably made in the 2000s sometime. I believe it still uses an idler-driven turntable. However, it doesn't have mechanical speed selection. We have a electronic speed control here for 33, 45, and 78 and then a switch for play and pause and of course the power switch and tone and volume and a headphone jack or speaker jack the turntable platter is made out of plastic not metal like the older ones uh, the tone arm is very similar to the older caliphones it has the little light here at the end of the tone arm that lights up and this uses the standard Astatic 89T PowerPoint cartridge, and this one's busted, but I think we can borrow one from another record player to test it out. But before we do that, let's open it up and see what the inside looks like of this Chinese thing. Okay, here's the underside. have a fairly healthy power transformer. There's our little puny DC drive motor. Here's our amplifier chassis. It uses a single IC for the audio output stage. And for speakers, we have a couple of four-inch speakers here. The older ones had the big six by nine speakers in them. And one thing I will say about this, if they had to use a DC motor, at least they used one that does not have the speed regulation circuitry built into the motor. As you can see here, here's our little speed control board here. So if this motor were to fail, it shouldn't be too hard to find a replacement for it. Okay, I borrowed a cartridge from another player. Let's turn this on and see if it operates. There's 33, 45, 78. Amp works. Put a record on and see if it'll play it. Okay, there you go, and it doesn't sound too bad. And this thing has a built in forty five RPM adapter. Okay, here's a 78, and this needle we're using doesn't have a 78 needle on the flip side. It's a dual LP, so this is really not going to sound the best in the world, but... Ok, 
Okay, now what I'll probably do is put my strobe disc on the turntable and make sure it's running correctly. And if it's not, I'll adjust the internal trim pots for the correct speed. And I'll also order a correct LP and 78 cartridge for this unit. Here's our pause control. And here it is with the platter removed. As you can see, not much to the drive mechanism. It is idler driven, but since it has electronic speed control, it doesn't have the traditional mechanical step mechanism like the older units had. Okay, I just discovered that this thing is not very kind to styrene 45s. In fact, I tested it with a sacrificial 45, and you could hear it chewing up the record. And then I measured the tracking force with this gauge here, and it's running about 13.5 grams, which is way too much. I think the actual recommended tracking force for this cartridge is in the 6 to 8 gram range. So, at some point... I'm going to have to adjust this counterbalance spring. I see they have it in the first notch, so I need to move it up to one of these other notches to get it lighter. But we'll do that on another day. I really don't have time to do much to this today, but I just wanted to show you this. The Califone 1010 AV record player from China unfortunately so I ought to just put it up for sale and get rid of it. Okay I played with a counterbalance spring moved it from the first notch heaviest all the way up to the last notch which gets us down to 7 grams that's a far cry from 13 grams which 7 grams that's in between the 6 to 8 that's recommended for this cartridge so it, it should do a little bit better now it's still nothing I'd play my prized records on but it'll do okay for old 78's and beat up albums okay I dug around and found a, a real LP 78 cartridge from a, another player and it does better with the right stylus <laughs> A little Hank Rockman for your listening pleasure this afternoon. And have you ever traveled over many thousand miles to see a pretty Keisha girl dressed in Oriental style? And now we're not chewing styrene since we are uh, lighting the uh, tracking pressure. Okay, that ought to about do it for the Califone 1010 AV phonograph. It seems to be working fine. And thank you for watching, and we'll do something else boring later.